My name is Babita Panigrahi. I'm a breast imaging radiologist at Johns Hopkins. Breast imaging is an important part of the patient's health and wellness. Our goal is always early detection so that we can have the best treatment outcomes. The different types of breast imaging include mammogram, ultrasound, and MRI. These three modalities have different indications and show different findings in the breast. The first modality we're going to talk about is mammography. There's both 2D and 3D mammography that can be performed. 3D mammography is preferred because it is composed of multiple low dose projections over the breast that allows for better cancer detection and decreased recall rates. Mammography is specialized to see specific findings in the breast. These include calcifications, masses, and distortion. Screening mammography is recommended for all women starting at the age of 40 and every year thereafter. Diagnostic mammography may be indicated in other populations with specific symptoms. Ultrasound is another breast imaging modality that we use in conjunction with mammography in patients who have mammographic findings that are recalled from screening mammography, as well as for patients who have specific breast symptoms. Breast ultrasound is often used in conjunction with mammography for evaluation of specific findings in the breast. For example, when a patient is recalled from screening mammography or if they have specific symptoms such as focal pain, a lump, nipple discharge, or in patients who have had a mastectomy and have focal symptoms. Breast ultrasound may also be used for screening purposes in those who have dense breast tissue. The last advanced breast imaging technique that we use is breast MRI. This technique is useful for evaluation of patients who have recently been diagnosed with breast cancer and we are seeking to evaluate extent of disease, as well as for high-risk screening in patients who have a strong family history of breast cancer or dense breast tissue. Breast MRI may also be used in specific clinical situations, such as in patients who have pathologic nipple discharge or in patients where we are seeking to evaluate implant integrity. In patients who are undergoing high-risk screening with breast MRI, this is considered an exam that is to be performed in addition to your annual screening mammogram. Mammography is performed as well as MRIs because the things that are seen on mammograms, such as masses, calcifications, and distortion, may not always be visible on a breast MRI. Therefore, the two exams are used together to provide the best cancer detection for the patient. Ultrasound can specifically characterize certain breast findings, such as breast cysts, as well as lymph nodes. And this may be better characterized on an ultrasound than on a mammogram or MRI. Mammography is the only imaging modality that has been proven to decrease breast cancer mortality. Talk to your primary care provider and breast radiologist to determine what is the most appropriate breast imaging for you.